Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nilesh Alagi and you're watching Techie Programma. So today in this video, we are going to install PyCharm on our system. So what is PyCharm? PyCharm is an IDE that is used in order to write a Python program or Python script and then run it and we'll just get an output screen. So let's get started with that. So let us install it. Uh, before uh, going with this video, uh, make sure you have already installed Python on your system and if you have no idea on how to install that, you can just check out my previous video. So now let me just open up my favorite browser. So I'll be going with Chrome. Once open, you can just type PYC, PYCH, charm download, okay then what you need to do is uh, you can just see the first link that is www.jetbrains.com by charm slash download just click on this then coming here uh, what you can do is just here you can see there is a community version this is a professional version if you would like to buy it you can just buy that so it starts with a free trial uh, but here in this case we are going to download or go with this community version so hit on download here then here you can see it's about 297 mb around 3 300 mb so uh, i need to wait for a while so that it get, it will be downloaded in a few minutes okay so it has been downloaded let me just double tap on this just hit on yes then click next 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 okay so run you can just hit this so that it just pops up let me just keep it unchecked hit on finish now go to the search search for the new that is PyCharm or you can just click on here start and scroll down to p it should start with p i guess p pi charm not here okay yeah hit on this okay so you just need to say yes i confirm you can just read this whole stuff Hit continue. Yeah, you can just uh, keep it as don't send. Let me just keep it as don't send right now. It says to select a theme. Let me just hit on this and then let me hit on next. Okay, so we have this PyCharm UI 2020.2.3. What you need to do is click on new project and then let me just create a project called YOUTube tutorial so that this we will be using throughout our course or whatever the video may make and then what you need to do here is uh, there if you have installed a uh, only one version of python that is uh, in the previous video we had installed python 3.9 so it will automatically take that stuff here you can just see here or else what you need to do is click on this and you need to select uh if you are going to change with some other thing okay i guess uh python 2.7 is comes pre-installed in your system but not sure uh, but if you have installed like as we have installed this Python 3.9 then you can just see that it has automatically selected if not you just make sure you just select that and then next you need to hit on create you can just click on do not show the tips and close it
make sure your device is connected to internet because it makes some initial downloads like pip install and uh, setup tools now here you can see your project files and this is our main.py and this is the file we are going to write our code and there is no need to understand what this stuff right now there is no need to understand what this big stuff is you can just ignore this and what you can do is just backspace this all and then you just need to write print print in double quotes write hello world here we are going to check our like if the setup is right and then what we're going to do is here you can see on the top corner we have a run button just hit this and here you can see your output it says hello world so this is the setup for pycharm we have installed and set it up to our python 3.9 that we have already installed so you can if even if, uh, if you fail to like set up the things, what you can do here is go to the settings in the file section and then coming to here on the project name, here you can see Python interpreter. Even here you can just change that, like you can just change this here. And here you can see uh, that this is a library that packages that we have installed. We will be talking about this in the later sections of the video so for now we have completely set up our system to work from the next video if you are till the end of this video then do like share and subscribe and see you in the next video with other amazing content till then take care